In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at a simplified way for you to take your video if you export it to YouTube and find an easy way to add subtitles by doing some extra work inside PowerDirector first. We've done a tutorial on this before, but I have found a more simple way to accomplish this task. That's what this video is all about. So in order to do that, there's three steps. First of all, I'm going to use subtitles. Secondly, I'm going to export the subtitles. And third, I'm going to edit my export. And then I can simply copy and paste that if I upload my video to YouTube. So let's take it one step at a time. First thing I want to do is use some subtitles. These will be my chapters when I get to YouTube. So I'm going to click on the subtitles at the very top in the new interface. And I'll just create some manually here. Now what I want to do is create several. I'm, I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning in the very first frame and add a plus. So we'll create one at zero, zero. I just can click in here and say intro. That's pretty common. Then I'll move my playhead anywhere else I want to and create a plus. And we'll call this, let's just say we're talking about how to use techniques using LUTs. I'll be in by next one. And then I move to the other next place where I want a subtitle in YouTube. Click a plus. And we'll call this split toning. And we'll do another one. And let's say this one is going to be crop and zoom. So what I'm going to do now is add a few more and pause the video. I've added more subtitles and we're going to be using these when we export this to YouTube as chapters. So I have 10 here. The next step is to export this and to do this I need to widen my window and click on the three dots to the upper right when I'm looking at my subtitle box. I'll click on that and we have some export options. We're going to do the one that says export as SRT file and I'll do it without the formatting, which is my top option here. Then it will open my file system. I'll navigate to the place where I want the file and then I'll give it a name. I will call this YouTube test and press enter. And now we're going to spend some time working with that file. Now what I can do if I don't want these subtitles in my project, I can simply highlight them all and press the delete key and they go away. So when I'm done using them, I don't need them anymore. We'll leave them in for now just in case I need them later. So I'm going to minimize that and then we're going to open our file that we just created. So I've found the file and what I want to do is just click on it. And I can click actually click on the view and do a zoom zoom in or I can do control plus to zoom in. I'll do that a little bit and make it bigger for, and easier for you to see. Now what we have to do is make a few changes but if you don't have a really lengthy list it's not too difficult. First thing I don't need the hours and the colon and I don't need the numbers. So I'm going to click behind the colon and drag up and press the delete key for one and two and three, etc. Very simple. Take the hours out, take the number out. We're working in Notepad in Windows, and it really isn't a bad tool to use for this particular project. So I'll stop there with those. The next thing I want to do is I want to take out everything from the comma to the right. So I highlight, I go, go left, and I drag to the last number. And instead of pressing delete, I'm going to press space bar. Then I press delete, and that will move the word intro up. So I click from the comma to the end, press space bar when that's highlighted, then press my delete key. And that is a very simple way of moving all that up. Space bar, delete. space bar, whoops, delete. And you can make any edits really simple if you make a change that you don't like. Here I didn't highlight the one. I'll simply delete that again and press the delete key. 
So now we have our minutes and seconds. That's all we need if your video is less than an hour long. I'll pause this while I finish the last of the 10. So now I have all of these edited that I'm going to use when I get to YouTube. I'm going to click on File and click on Save, or I can do Control S. Next step is to go to YouTube. Let's do that, and then we'll show you how to use this particular document. Now I'm in YouTube Studio on the left side of the screen. I opened up just a random old video that I created as a tutorial. And what we're going to do is work in this description box simply to add what we have on the right. So I've opened my subtitle, YouTube Test SRT file. All I need to do is highlight all the text. Do Control C to copy. Then I move to the YouTube Studio. I go wherever I have the text that describe that particular video. I can do Control V to paste, and now I've pasted it in. Now the only restrictions are you have to have at least 10 seconds between each of these. If you don't have 10, it won't work. You also need to have the first one to be 0000, zero, 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 zero and then you can put anything behind it. But you do need the zero. It will tell it that these are now chapters. So I've added all these chapters to this video. And it, all I need to do then is save what I've done by clicking on the Save button in the upper right. And then if I go to play the video, let's click on the link. So once I open it I, and I drag at the bottom, here are my chapters that I just put in using LUTs, split toning, crop and zoom, sharpness, titles, color, transitions, keyframes, and producing the project. So it did work just as it was supposed to. So if you are a Power Director designer and you upload to YouTube and you want to do the chapters, using the subtitles and exporting them with a little bit of editing is a very simple way to get the process perfect in CyberLink PowerDirector.